Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll take you through a very quick tutorial on how to set up this Rotonda based camera system where you have an external zoom when you get too far and it resumes back to the original setting when you get close to the camera. Let's get to it. So for this particular tutorial we'll need five elements basically. So the first one is a Rotonda character blocker. This character blocker basically stops the character from approaching the camera or getting clipping through the camera. You don't want that, right? So it's a basic capsule collider. You can set it to whatever value you want and the trigger is off for this one. Then from there, uh, under the car camera group, I have a Rotonda zoom. This is the zoom extension. So whenever the character goes out of this area, this is where the zoom um, happens. Okay, this is also where the state machine lives and it's going to have a game object for the exterior cam and a game object for the exit camera. I'll go through that as well. The capsule collider is also set to trigger and it can set to whatever value you wish. You will also need the main camera obviously and you will have, I have two cameras here. I have a, a Rotonda motor camera and this is set to a fixed camera. This is uh, pairs in the middle set to pers uh, perspective projection, a field of view of 50, and it aims at the player on an offset of one. This is this here is all based on what your game needs, and you can set it to whatever value you wish. You can play with these settings a bit. Also, for the Rotonda exterior camera, this is where, where you go to an extent outside of that volume that I set. Okay, this is also a perspective camera, but this time the field of view is much smaller at 25, and the same offset for the player character. And with that set, we're going to set up the state machine. Again, if you don't have the state machine module, you can always set up these actions and triggers in a normal game creator fashion. In the state machine, you're going to have two triggers. You're going to have a on player enter and on player exit simply by right clicking, create trigger, and then doing it GC way and, and put in your trigger that you would need here. From there, you're going to make a transition into a new action and we'll set up the action elements that will be in here. First things, we're going to set up the blackboard. In the blackboard, you're going to create two game objects. We're going to create a rotunda exit camera and a rotunda extend exterior exit and make those game objects in the blackboard. We'll be using those shortly. Okay, so let's do the on player exit first. So when the player exits the, the, the volume into the exterior uh, area here, you want to zoom in. So what we're going to do from here, you're going to set on player exit. Okay, we're gonna uh, we have the the trigger set up with the radius. Okay, and then from here we're gonna transition into this action. Basically, what this action does is change the camera very from a variable, which is the rotunda exit camera that we set up in the blackboard. Okay, so from here you go add action, change camera, and use this from uh, from variable. Okay, so from the variable here, now we can have access to the variable we set up in the blackboard. Okay, that's all you need in there. Now the on player enter, when the player enters back into the volume here, the mid range, all we have to do is another transition out. We're gonna do the rotunda, we're gonna activate the rotunda camera, the close range camera now. So from here, same thing, you add another change camera variable, you just swap to the exterior exit. So we exit from the exterior here. Okay, that's all you need. Now to have these work, just go back to your object that you have your state machine set up on. We're gonna have, we're gonna have the exterior camera and the exterior exit camera. All we have to do is drag and drop these into the proper fields. That's it. And there you have it. Super fast, super simple. And the camera here is following the player. The player goes too far, the camera zooms in, the player comes back, it zooms back out, very smooth transitions. And hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, you can find me on Discord, the Game Creator Discord. The link's in the description, or you can just drop me a comment in this particular YouTube video. I've also wanted to mention that I officially passed my 500 subscriber. Thank you guys very much. It's really appreciated that you are finding the videos helpful or entertaining. Until next video, stay safe and have fun creating games.